My name is Gunther Heinzel. I'm a substation design engineer with Central Hudson Gas and Electric. We're a utility in New York State, about 60 miles north of New York City, and our territory goes almost up to Albany. Probably about 300,000 electric utility users and 80,000 gas users, more or less about 100 substations and various um, voltages between 69,000 volts, 115,000 volts, and 345,000 volts. Designing substations, especially in, in this area, is very challenging since there are several regulations. We are normally tight on space. Our lots that we work in are quite challenging between hills, wetlands, and then we also have the Hudson River running right through our territory, which we have to be careful of. Late October 2012, the New York City area and the, and the Hudson Valley area was hit by Superstorm Sandy. When it came up the river, the floodwaters were easily six to seven feet above normal. When this storm came in, we were most concerned about our, our transmission lines. And we never expected the flooding that we did receive. During Hurricane Sandy, they actually closed all the doors, they sandbagged everything, and there are huge sump pumps down in the, in the basement. And within hours, they were inundated. They couldn't keep up with anything. The pumps failed. Because right, right here, we're really, you know, off, we're a foot from high tide right here. Okay. You know, now, Superstorm Sandy, I think it was eight foot above high tide. So, I mean, they're just, they didn't have a chance. The storm came north right up the center of the, the Hudson River. So at, between the high tide and the storm surge that it blew up the river, I mean, the flood levels were over our heads right now. One of the places that was hit very badly was our Dan Scammer substation. There the water actually went and flooded the whole substation and um, our control house there, which is, is, was two foot above the, the ground of the substation, actually got flooded an additional two feet on the inside. So it was a four foot of water that came up over the banks of the Hudson River and flooded out our substation. After Superstorm Sandy, we implemented a storm hardening program. We are increasing the height of any of our electrical equipment, our breakers, our control house, and switches so that they are well above any anticipated flood levels. What we came up with is that we needed to raise our control house up off the ground about six feet so that the, any, any exposed wiring would be also above that level of water. The first element was actually looking at the basis of the design and the second element was the design itself. And the basis of the design consisted of uh, the initial survey, and the survey included the elevations of the existing uh, grade, the existing earth, and the utilities that were both underground and above ground, fences, roadways, uh, property lines. The unique thing about this is that there is no good soil there. It, it's a, a lot of river silt. We had to go down 15 to 20 feet before we hit any kind of bedrock that we could attach our new control house to. So the real design problems there were how are you gonna get these pilings in? You have uh, high voltage lines going over top of where we needed to set this control house so you didn't have a lot of vertical clearance. So what SEL came up with is micro piles. They're, they're basically like almost a wood screw and they come in six foot sections so you didn't need a very large machine to put them in. And basically the machine would, at six foot at a time, drive these micro piles down. Then they'd put another six foot section on and drive that down until we eventually hit bedrock. From there, we poured our foundation around the micro piles and made our support structures for the new control house, which are now about five to six foot above our initial grade. SEL designed our, our footings, our pilings, and even took care of all the transportation and setting the new control house in place. If it wasn't for SEL doing the engineering also for the foundation, we would have had to hire civil engineers to go out and do that. Um, that's, that's beyond the scope of what we do here. 
In the long term, if we ever got hit by another storm similar to Superstorm Sandy or worse, we anticipate that our Dan Scammer substation will survive with, with limited to no damage.